thinking about what you said on another podcast. I think the Bears are being hyped because Fields is seen as their savior, but I don't think he'd move the needle that much. See, but the, the weird thing about it is they're hyping him, but but why not hype Trevor Lawrence? Because Trevor Lawrence was the biggest thing ever. And you say, well, it's because Trevor Lawrence hasn't done well. But they never hyped the Jaguars. Even before the preseason, they were hyping Justin Fields and the Bears and how good they're going to be. They never talked about Trevor Lawrence. It was just weird to me. Same with Zach Wilson. Never talk about Zach Wilson being good. Even now. How about Mac Jones, who actually was the best rookie quarterback by a mile of anybody? And he's a Patriot. You you don't hear anybody talking about, oh, man, the Patriots are back, and this is going to be crazy. No, it's Justin Fields. Justin Fields is the guy that's... So... I mean, again, maybe he's going to be real good, and maybe, you know, I, I, if you're a Bears fan and you're excited, that's fine. I'm just wondering from a national media standpoint, you got Trey Lance, you got Trevor Lawrence, you got Mac Jones, you got uh, uh, the Jet guy, and there's, there's reasons to put all these guys, because all of them except Mac Jones were drafted before Justin Fields, and Mac Jones is the number one quarterback in the preseason, so you feel like Justin Fields would be low on that list. Maybe maybe ahead of Trey Lance because Trey's had a real rough go of it. But Justin Fields gets the most hype, which is kind of weird to me. And, and again, I, I get it, except how it compares to everybody else. That's the thing that's very strange to me. And I don't understand it. You say, well, it's because he's having such a great pre... But he's not. He's not. He's, he's got an average... I think he had three games. He graded out average all three games. Um in the preseason. He's, he hasn't done anything bad, but he's not done one thing that was in, incredible. I think that one touchdown pass was the one throw that was like, no, oh, it was a good throw. But it was also one of those throws where you think, I think Kurt Banker probably could have made that throw. 